We begin this 6 o'clock hour with breaking news of a deadly crash along the 5 in Carlsbad. It happened on the northbound lanes near La Costa Avenue. CBS 8's Chris Guo joining us live from a safe area near the scene uh, to give us the very latest. It's really tough video to see that, uh, you know, after that crash. And what's, what is happening there now, Chris? It really is a violent scene when you look at what happened in the aftermath, which only makes you wonder exactly what led up to that crash. Now, that's, of course, what CHP investigators are trying to find out. Now, what we know so far, again, take a look at this video, is that this was a crash that involved multiple vehicles. We know that multiple people were taken to the hospital, that at least one person is dead, and that there is a chance that there is, again, more to that, to that number that could potentially be revealed later on. So again, we are waiting for the official word, but what we do know is that this is a deadly crash. So that does mean that at least one person died. Now you can see one vehicle there rolled over that was on uh, actually still on the roof, the wheels up in the air. Uh, we do know, of course, that CHP responded to this and that they are there now that the northbound lanes have been shut down uh, for a stretch of this area. In fact, those of you that are familiar, uh, we're here at the park and ride and we're watching a lot of the vehicles uh, being diverted again around this uh, crash. Uh, using the on-ramp uh, there for the five northbound, getting around it where it seemed to have occurred there, or at least where the cars ended up, the vehicles ended up there, close to that overpass in this area. Now back out here live again, we're continuing to monitor this situation to find out the updated information, of course, about how many people may have been potentially involved in this, and then, of course, uh, what the total numbers are there for how many people uh, may have died. We're waiting for an exact number at this time, but for more on exactly what you can expect on your morning commute and how this is impacting traffic. We go live now in studio to Evan Narani. Evan. Yeah, Chris, thank you very much. 602 right now on the clock. This crash happened about three hours ago, 250 to be exact. That's when CHP got the call in. We're zooming in here on the map here, moving toward Carlsbad on the I-5 North. So what we see here, purple on the screen indicating a complete standstill. Lanes are not moving, and that's because all of that traffic on the 5 northbound is being rerouted. They're getting the La Costa Avenue off ramp and then getting on to the five on the next available on ramp. But for that section of the five where this crash took place, no one is passing through. Not a single lane is open right now. That means you are going to have to reroute and get off at La Costa and get on at the next on ramp. The only other option that you have really for this besides surface streets is to take the 15 and then head west from there. And that's going to add a significant amount of time to your morning commute. So that is still blocked right now. We'll keep you up to date once we see CHP opening those lanes. But again, it still could be a significant amount of time before that takes place. Want to transition of weather here at 603. It's a warm start to the morning. Very summer like trend out there. Santa Ana winds are picking up. We've got a wind advisory all the way through 2 p.m. today for the tan color on your screen. Expect afternoon highs in the 80s for this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine again. Very, very summer like we will detail the next chance for wet weather in the forecast, which will be about Monday of next week and take a look at that extended 8 day forecast in just a bit. Netta. All right, Evan, thank you so much. And new this morning, an investigation is now underway into a deadly fall. This involved a parachute in University City. You can see where it happened here. Police responded to a call on Lombard Place and Nobel Drive about 1030 last night. Officers say a man with a parachute and a helmet jumped off a 15th floor balcony and then hit the ground. The man died at the scene. San Diego police are looking into what happened. And this morning, a La Mesa man accused of a deadly shooting on State Route 94 expected to appear before a judge for the first time. Thomas Evans III is in jail after being arrested over the weekend. Investigators say he shot 27 year old Sandra Lena Williams while she was driving along westbound lanes in Spring Valley. It was earlier this month. She died after being taken off life support just days later. Evans now faces several possible felony charges, including first degree murder in her death. And then this just in here, Moderna says it's low dose COVID-19 vaccine works in babies, toddlers and preschoolers. The company announced its findings from a study conducted on children under the age of six. And if regulators agree the small doses are in fact safe and effective, then the Moderna vaccine could be available to that younger age group by this summer. Moderna plans to submit its data in the coming weeks. San Diegans are looking for some kind of relief from these rising gas prices here. The average price for a regular gallon of gas now five ninety six. That's two cents higher than yesterday and up more than two dollars from a year ago. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live in Kearney Mason now with the different plans of relief and there's plans on the federal and state level here. 
Good morning, Eric and Netta. That's right. Politicians are really feeling the pressure when it comes to helping people. I mean, here in Kearney Mesa, $6.19 for just one gallon of regular gas. Now, I'm here to break down some of those plans that are on the table on both state and the federal level. If you give everybody more money because of inflation, then you have inflation. That's literally the definition of inflation. So that's part of the problem. So that UCSD professor was not agreeing with the logic of a group of Democratic State Assembly members wanting to send California taxpayers a $400 rebate. The money would come from the state's $9 million surplus and offset California's gas tax. That money would go to everyone, even those who don't drive. Now, with Democrats arguing that inflation is hurting all Californians, Republicans, on the other hand, are pushing to suspend a state gas tax that comes out to 51 cents, saying it would help faster bring those some relief to those who drive. Now, their initial bill was rejected by Democrats on Monday, but they're planning to try again later this week. Over in Washington, D.C., elected leaders are considering multiple plans, one including a bill, and if passed, it would send individual taxpayers $100 a month and couples $200 a month when the national average for gas is over $4 a gallon. Another proposal, taxing oil companies that make profits this year that are well above their average. That money would be sent to taxpayers as a credit. Now again, 29 days in a row, we've been talking about those prices rising, $6.19 here in Kearney Mesa. Many people looking for relief, and now many politicians are responding. So of course, we'll keep you updated on if any of those bills do pass. You can read more in depth on CBS8.com. I'm Dana Marie McNichol, live in Kearney Mesa. I'll send it back to you. Dana Marie, thank you. And here at CBS8, we want to help you save money when you fill up. Get to the... Uh our, you get your phone here, text the word GAS to 858-571-8888 for a link to an interactive map showing you gas prices across the county. Well, new carpool lanes are now open at the Interstate 5 area from Carlsbad to Solana Beach. Early this morning, Caltrans and Sandag marked the completion of nine new miles of carpool lanes on the southbound side of the 5 from Palomar Airport Road to Lomas Santa Fe Drive. Officials say the goal is to reduce traffic congestion as well as pollution. Right now, President Biden is on the way to Brussels for an emergency summit with other NATO leaders on the war in Ukraine. The White House says the president plans to unveil new economic sanctions aimed at cutting off the Russian military's funding. Meanwhile, the United Nations will take up three resolutions today focused on the humanitarian situation in Ukraine. And Supreme Court nominee Ketanji Brown Jackson will be back on Capitol Hill this morning for day three of her confirmation hearings. So yesterday, Judge Jackson spent more than 12 hours testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee. She defended her record amid Republicans' claims that she's soft on crime. Judge Jackson insisted she always follows the law. At least one person is dead after a tornado touched down in New Orleans overnight. Take a look at all of the damage here. This is the same weather system spawned at least 20 tornadoes in Oklahoma and Texas on Monday. It is now pushing east, bringing the risk of more severe weather from northern Florida into the Carolinas. Here at home, we're talking about this heat wave. Evan has a check on our summer-like forecast out there. Yeah, how about that? I mean, temperatures are, in some cases, 20 degrees above average. Average for this time of year in San Diego would be 67 degrees. What do we have as our forecast high? 86, 19 degrees above average. So it is going to be a hot one out there. Make sure to keep the sunscreen on hand, the water on hand with you. Sunshine across the board with a building ridge of high pressure, even though we just entered the start of the spring season. It feels a lot more like summer. Take a look at your current temperatures as you walk out the door. We cooled down by a few degrees compared to, say, an hour ago. 56 in Oceanside right now, 51 in Poway, and 55 in El Cajon, 69 in Alpine. 24-hour temperature change shows that nearly across the board, at least for the coastline and inland, these temperatures are warmer than yesterday, right? This is because both overnight and in the afternoon, we're continuing to build on the progress that we made from the day before. This ridge of high pressure keeps building. Tomorrow, though, we're going to start a gradual cool down. It's going to be so gradual that we'll remain above that average all the way through the weekend. By the time we get to the weekend, a couple clouds are going to start to build. We'll see some changes in the forecast, but really not all that significant to warrant anything below average or any major weather change until 
we get to Monday of next week. Monday of next week is going to present our best opportunity for wet weather, and we'll see these winds shift from offshore to onshore, meaning by the weekend, cloud cover will be more significant. A chance for some morning fog is in the mix, but for now, offshore flow keeps those clouds at bay. Look how windy it is up at Booker Hill. 43 mile per hour gusts, 27 in Julian, 28 at Mount Laguna. It is a breezy start to the morning and a pretty clear one at that 648 is that technical sunrise. That means we are about 30 minutes out from it and sunset comes at 702, but we're already starting to see some of that light come through. Here's the crash that we're still talking about. This is on the five, right? Five northbound near uh, Carlsbad and moving up in the Carlsbad direction. Purple on the screen indicating a complete slowdown, uh, complete stoppage, I should say, and then red farther down and orange indicating where people are likely trying to reroute before having to get off at the La Costa Avenue exit. If you can get off before La Costa, do so because because that's where you're going to see the majority of the slowdown. There's uh, barely two lanes that you're going to be able to take on the off lane there. And then as you get off on La Costa, you're just going to get rerouted. So you'll have plenty of company there on the exit lanes trying to get back onto the five. So if you can reroute prior to La Costa, <coughs> definitely suggested that you do so. Sig alert is also in effect uh, this morning. Looks like besides that, we don't have any other major crashes or collisions that we're tracking this morning, but CHP could be on scene at this Carlsbad crash for quite a bit of time. It's 611 right now. I'll send things back to you guys.